Hello and welcome to my craft space. I'm Loria with Tasteful Designs. What I'll be showing you today is how to do a set of custom dominoes. Um, here's the domino set that we'll be using. This is just dominoes from Walmart. I also purchased my dominoes from Dollar General and Amazon. The measurements that I'll be giving you today are for Walmarts and Dollar General. They have the same size dominoes. The ones I purchased from Amazon are a tad bit different. If you end up finding dominoes elsewhere, I would suggest measuring. There's no need for a template. You just measure length and width and you'll have the size for your dominoes. The paper that I'll be using today is this here, Molokovs. Glossy full adhesive paper is for laser or inkjet. It's sticker paper that is waterproof. And I get this paper from Amazon. I'll post the link down below. I'll also post the link down below for the dominoes that I purchased from Amazon. Although this set that we're doing today is a set from Walmart. What I do first is you would upload whatever photo that you're going to be placing inside or on your dominoes, you'll upload it. I have three sets of dominoes to make, so I'm going to be doing these three images, one, two, and three. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one here. Once your image has been pulled in, what you'll want to do is unlock the image and size it down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and see. I'm going to lock it back and then size it. Five or six. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take out some of this background space so that you can see them a little bit clearer and up close since the size of the dominoes are so small. So I'm going to take a shape square and open that up and grab them out of this picture. Seems to be good right there. Select it all and slice. This is the only thing I want out of here. So I'm gonna select all of this and delete it. Now what I'm gonna do is unlock the image <clears throat> and it's gonna be point 855 by 1.9. Again, these measurements are for Walmart dominoes that I purchased and also dominoes from Dollar General. So, once this is my image, it's ready to go. So, what I do is click make it, and up here in the top corner, you'll just type in 28 for a set of double six dominoes. There's 28 pieces. You'll just select 28 at the top. It'll fill in the spot and you'll go ahead and print it. I already have my image printed. Well, I have a image printed um, that I'm going to go ahead and use. Um, what I need to do now is go ahead and cut. <clears throat> That said, I do have going to the printer, but just to show you how it comes out, it'll come out like this, depending on how many you have on your sheet. And I like this paper a lot, and I'm going to show you why once we get this image cut. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue. I've already printed. All right. So now 
is ready to go. a piece that I've already printed out um, but I am going to send that one to printer I have three different sets to do but I've already printed one so I'll go ahead and get it cut and go ahead and show you how to apply it to the top of the dominoes cutting process takes just a few minutes it is 28 pieces that it has to cut out Three, four. I can find my register marks, registration marks. So I'm gonna, I know why I couldn't find them. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and insert a different one so that it can cut. And while we're waiting on that, I'll show you why I like this paper. So once the image finished cutting, what I normally do is I will, this paper has a little backing, a little corner that you could just peel up. Here it is here. And you peel that up and it's going to release all, each and every one of the stickers. And I'll show you in just a second when this is done cutting. This is just one simple, creative way to um, bring a game to your game day, game night. Um, to me, it's a funny gesture. So lay down a set of dominoes with your face or your favorite image printed on them. This here is about the seventh set that I've done. They only take a total of maybe about 10 minutes. You know, bringing the image into design space is simple. And then measuring it, putting your measurements in, sending it to the printer, and then your cut takes about two to three minutes. Doesn't take long at all. Placing them on the dominoes is just as simple. And you'll see that in just a moment. So here is why I like this paper. Once again, it has a little corner that you can flip up. And once you flip this corner, 
it pulls every single piece out. So it'll be easy to peel. So there you have it. Piece for each domino. And for placing the dominoes on, what I do is just simply peel one off. I take the domino and I go from the side. I used to go from the bottom or the top, but now I go from the side, which makes it a lot easier. And there you have it. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Simple placement. You want to make sure you get it centered. That wasn't centered at all. There we go. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like my video.